What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today is the first TBR game reading vlog of the year. Today I am starting out my reading vlog. It is Tuesday uh, the 12th. It is Tuesday, January 12th and this week I am going to have Bookopoly pick my TBR. In January last year, I had Bookopoly pick my TBR and I did not read one single book on that TBR. Today, it's all changing. Even though it's Tuesday and I am still reading my current read, which is Bookish and the Beast, I'm hoping to finish it today. It's very quick and I'm really enjoying it. Just wanted to get this reading vlog started, so I'm gonna grab my board and find out what my first book of this reading vlog will be. No, that's my dice. That's my dice. It is currently Sunday and I am now starting this reading vlog. So it's going to go for this week and not the week that I planned because I can't schedule things. But I was also writing my book so... For the prompt is set outside of the US, I'll be reading He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence. I talk about this in my January TBR. I am reading it for the Buzzwordathon. This month, the word for Buzzwordathon is dream. I don't have much clarification on whether or not this is set in Canada. I am pretty sure it is because the author is from Toronto. And when I looked it up, it was on all of the Canadian lists. So I have a feeling that it's probably set in Canada. The author is of Cree and Irish descent. And so is the main character in this. It is about a boy named John who feels disconnected with his Cree heritage because he doesn't feel like he looks native and he ends up going to a community center and learns how to dance. And I think that's really fun. Brody recommended it in one of their videos and I knew I had to read it, especially because the main character is also a soccer player. I'm always looking for a book with sports. So this is only 130 pages. So I'm gonna try and knock it out today and then move on to the next prompt. Hello, I finished He Who Dreams and I gave it a four star. I really enjoyed this. It was fun to learn about dancing and just to learn more about how the process goes. I thought this was a great coming of age story about a boy trying to juggle everything in his life, dance class, homework, and soccer. I thought it was really great and for a book that was only 130 pages I think it was done very well. I especially liked that there was character development because as a book is so short usually the characters can't grow but this was a great short story and I enjoyed it. So I would recommend it if you're looking for a coming of age story. It talks about soccer. There are some trigger warnings for racism, bullying, and a panic attack. In the clip before this you saw the page where they mentioned Tim Hortons so this is in fact set in Canada. I also like the family dynamic. John has really great parents. I really liked how John could talk to his parents about dancing and how they weren't the type of parents that made him do soccer over that and were very supportive of him. So I really enjoyed this. If you're looking for a short coming of age, I highly recommend this. Let's go back to the book Opley board to figure out what my next read will be. So I landed on Instagram picks. So this means I have to pick two books, put up a poll on my Instagram story and have my followers vote on what book I should read next. My followers are gonna choose from the Henna Wars and on the come up. I think the majority of my followers have read both of these. So I'm curious to see what wins. So I'm gonna go and take these pictures, put up a poll and I will be back in an hour to see what the results are. <music> I set the poll at 427, it is currently 652, so it's been two hours. So I am going to now check the poll. 
75% says The Henna Wars, 25% for On The Come Up, so I am going to be reading The Henna Wars. I'm so excited. I can't wait to read this, so I'm excited that my followers picked this one. Several days later. Hello, it is Sunday and I'm sorry. <laughs> I have not updated this vlog since the beginning of the week and that is how my week has been. This is only going to be a two book reading vlog, but I have been reading other things outside of this video. For the Rent Readathon, I read two graphic novels and I got the audiobook on Libro FM through a free trial. I don't know if I like Libro FM just because it is kind of like audible and I am more someone who wants to have audiobooks all the time. My audiobook says I'm 37% into the book and I'm 130 pages into the physical copy. I am I'm really enjoying it. I'm just very excited. I love books about projects. This is an enemies to lovers and it involves a school project and my work in progress breaking the ice also is an enemies to lovers that is following a school project. So I just love this trope and I'm really enjoying this book. I am so frustrated with this book right now and angry for our main character. She is just experiencing so much racism, so many microaggressions, and a lot of homophobia. I will leave the trigger warnings down below for both of these books, but oh my god, I am raging. I was just texting my friend Sarah who actually recommended me this book and it's her favorite book and I am texting her and I'm just like, I hate everyone in this book except the main character. I just don't know how she's keeping her composure. I would be flipping out at these people. Right now in the book, she's starting her henna business and a classmate of hers who she is currently crushing on has decided to culturally appropriate her culture and start her own henna business and she's trying to tell her why that's wrong but she's just saying no it's art you don't understand art so I'm just really feeling for her I am so angry that she is dealing with this but I am hopeful that there is going to be a great redemption arc that is the only way that I will like this girl because I'm like how am I supposed to like her she's so racist <laughs> this book is set in Ireland which is really interesting because I've only read books about characters going to school in the U.S. so it's nice to read a different perspective and me learning about secondary schools and how their schooling works is really interesting and it also ties in with the book that I read He Who Dreams because that character was Irish and Cree so we're getting all the Irish feels. I'm actually actually half Irish so we are having a whole Irish filled vlog. So I'm gonna get back to this book. I just wanted to update and talk about how frustrated I am for our main character. At the beginning of the book Nishak came out to her parents as a lesbian and there is a lot of tension where her parents just didn't discuss it and it is really awkward um, but the scene that I was just at her cousin came to her and told her that Muslims are are gay? Says who? Says who? Yeah, this book is making me angry but for the right reasons. So I'm going to get back to it and I will update you when I'm at the halfway point. I just got to the part where she's outed which is not a spoiler because it's a trigger warning. She is outed and I am frustrated and sad and as soon as I heard the words I just started getting upset and tears were forming in my eyes and I just want her to go one day without experiencing any homophobia and that would be great. I just want her to have one nice day without anyone screwing it up for her. Usually I don't bring spoilers into my reading vlogs but I am 74% in and I just need to talk about this. So for the people that have read this, it was the sister. It was the sister. I had my suspicions about it being the sister but I didn't want it to be her. I wanted it to be China so badly because I hate her at the moment. Um, <laughs> I cannot believe what I just heard. Um, this was a suspicion that was in the back of my mind. It wasn't my first thought, but I had a feeling that maybe it could be the sister, but I just couldn't think that because I was like, oh, she's so accepting all of that stuff, but what? And then Preeti was like, oh, I'm accepting. And now she has to be like that, like the audacity.
I am so surprised, even though I had a suspicion that it was her, because I've read through all the boys I love before, it's always the sister. <laughs> the story was not really leading me towards that, so I thought it was China or one of the girls that hates her, and I am just so surprised right now. I cannot believe that. What a plot twist. What a plot twist. Good on Adiba for this plot twist because I am so surprised right now. I'm getting to like Flavia a little bit more, but I still can't get past the fact that she said cultural appropriation doesn't exist. Um, so I am excited to see what happens um, because I did not see that plot twist coming. Um, so I'm going to go back to reading and I will update you once I have hopefully finish the book or maybe she'll give me another plot twist who knows Two moments later i should just film myself reading the rest of this book because it just gets worse and not in the sense that it's a bad book like i'm loving it i just hate this for in a shot and i am just so angry at what is happening and i understand why it's happening because conflict please adiba give me a happy ending because the shot needs this she needs to have a happy ending because i am furious of the events that i am listening to the homophobia runs deep in this book so really look out for that i am just raging right now and i'm so angry <laughs> i just want to see a happy ending for nishat she definitely deserves that and folks there are real people in the world like this and it is disgusting but also let me take a second to talk about how this is such a real reality for people when they come out and are not accepted or supported there are so many people in their lives that are going to tell them that it is their fault that their parents are upset and it's their fault and if anyone is going through that i just want you to know that it's not your fault at all these people are just stupid and selfish and i just hate that people are like this and i need a minute i need a minute to compile my thoughts and everything that i just read the next day hello friends welcome to the end of this reading vlog at midnight i finished the henna wars as you can see throughout this whole vlog i loved this book i gave it a five out of five stars if you're looking for more books written by queer women of color i highly recommend this i loved it so much but also look out for the trigger warnings this is a triggering book it has very heavy topics so be mindful of that before you pick this up but i loved it so much I love our main character in a shot. I love that it's set in Ireland. It's also set at an all-girls school and I really enjoyed the setting because I have not read any books that are actually set in Ireland so I loved this. Adiba actually has a book coming out this year which I will be picking up as soon as it comes out. It is a fake dating book. I'll have the cover up here and I'll try and leave it down below. As you can see throughout this whole reading vlog I loved The Hen and Wars and I would highly recommend it. And at the beginning of this vlog I read He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence, giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. It is a coming-of-age story. I really enjoyed it. If you're looking for a short coming-of-age about music and sports, I highly recommend this. It was a great YA, and I really enjoyed both of the books that I read in this vlog. So if you like this video, hit subscribe because I'm going to be having a TBR game or something. Pick my TBR every month. That is it for me today. I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there, and now we have a Discord. Thank Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.